So in this scenario, we're going to start the information gathering part two, which was our last topic. And we have left it uh, on the Friday class. So let's talk about the infrastructure. So we're going to start talk about the infrastructure uh, of the company. Sir, 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 sir screen here. Sorry. sorry? Screen share new sir. Okay, 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 okay. Wait, wait, wait. Is it okay? Yes, sir. Yeah. So uh, we're going to start with the information gathering part two today. So we were talking about the infrastructure of the company website. So if you talk about the com infrastructure, that's it's basically a behind a web application, a web application, or we can say in, in the layman language, we can say talk about the architecture or the support, you can say. Support of applications they are used. So in this scenario, what are we going to do? We're going to learn about the infrastructure of the web application, how they indicate or interact with the execution of web applications. So, meaning that a server can do a web server can do a work. That is, when an application is executed, it is a web application, meaning a website. Ke so, the most common, which is what is happening today, which is what is happening for web application part, was for example, like Apache and Microsoft IIS. And these are basically used for web application hosting. So our main objective will be to identify or discover the web server behind your application. Matlab, jo bhi aapke web server mein chal hai. And it web application. Web server, where you have a website host. That will be the main thing over here. So what kind of things are we going to need over here to understand how the web server is working? For example, we're going we're gonna to check about the OS, the operating system time. And we're going to look for the IAS also, which is stand for Internet Information Services. And for every OS, OS in the IAS, they have a different versions. For example, each and of every IAS has a different OS and their version. So our main objective will be understanding the IAS and other things we can learn over here. So, and most of the cases, 90% of the cases of your IAS, which is your Windows server, and uh, most of the website, if, if we are using most of the web server, we use Windows and Linux. And in Linux, there are some different architectures. Over here, if you talk about the information gathering part, the very first thing is your parameter value, the request and the response. So if you see over here, I'm going to open a book over here again. So let's talk about the request type. So we are talking about your HTTP request. So HTTP request is the request and response consists of one or more headers. Each and every separate line followed by the mandatory blank line followed by an optional message body. So if when you are simply doing a request from your browser side, these are the headers which we pass through. A client request, a proper client request, which has a refer header, a user agent header, and your other things. So our main objective, when we are simply creating a request from the client side, these are the uh, headers which we fast flow and we have a get header which is a data which is transferring from the ul section and they are using an http one by one so the main objective of your http request as well as we can see that this is a client request which is submitted by the client side browser and when the client request is submitted from from the client side to the server side 
we get a response header. And in the response header, you can see they, they are using the HTTP protocol and they are using 200, which is their HTTP request. It means the client request has been successful. And if you look over here, the server we were talking about, the server is using Microsoft IES 6.0, which is also a part of your banner grabbing part, which is also a part of your information gathering. So as we have done, we have used the NetCraft last time I guess we have, uh, did we use the netcraft? Netcraft used the thumbnail? Yes, sir. So the main objective of your netcraft to come uh, to simply gather the information or simply uh, check for the technology that they are using for their maintaining of their website. But there are lots of other websites we can use it for information gathering part as we can try many more things we can try the ns lookup command we can try different commands to identify the name servers the ip headers each and everything on that specific one but over here we're going to use some tools for example we're going to we're going to use a tool called webalizer Webalizer is a tool which is basically used to identify the technologies, data provider, uncovering technologies such as content management system, customer relationship management, e-commerce platform, and many more things. You can use Webalizer to identify the technologies which are using by the server side. For example, you can download Webalizer from this website and it, it, it's a, a file extension of your browser. If you click over here, you can see Webalizer. And through the Webalizer, you can see the frames the JavaScript frames they are using. And they are using nested.js, vue.js, programming language they are using uh, not.js, and payment processor they are using Stripe. You can see the payment st statement they are using Stripe. If you click over here, it will redirect you to the different website. And you can see the website which are using Stripe. Webalizer track over 27,900 websites that use Stripe. This is also a payment gateway. Dribble.com, Pentavis.com, Webflow, Dashboard, Clavia. You can see there's a lot of many over others. But the main objective of your Webalizer is to identify the number of services. For example, let's use a testing website. And through the testing website, you can see over here, through the Webalizer, you can gather the information about their editors, DMware, web server, which is your Ignice, and have a version of 1.4.1, programming language that they are using, PHP 5.3.10, and you can gather more information. There are many ways to gather. Try to look, Webalizer is basically used to identify the number of technology that they are using in the website. Either, either you can use many more techniques. Either you can simply use Netcat, either you can use some different techniques over here. If you use Netcat to identify the services and their version, all you have to do, let's copy this IP address. Let's use information gathering about through the Netcat. So I'm gonna do host and through the host command, I'm gonna look for the IP address. And we have the IP address. So over here, we're gonna check the response code from the server side. So over here, I'm gonna use the netcat and the IP address on the port 80. And we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna use a header file, forward slash HTTP and the protocol version. So over here, what I did through the netcat, we can identify the service code or the response code from the server side. And we use a header, a header with the HTTP, uh, HTTP uh, protocol 1.0 uh, with the version. So over here, 
from the server field, we can see that they are running some Apache and we can see oh, there are lots of other things. According to over here, we have Ignice running over here. But you can also identify these things from your netcat. And I guess this is going to take some time to give an output. But if you're using this thing, you will also get the animation part from the server side response. Okay, this is this was not didn't work. So let's copy this one again. Let's paste it over here. Let's see if it's working or not. Yes, you think? Sir, yeah, pay double double enter lagata sir one point zero ke baad mein. Two times enter. Two times enter. Yes, sir. Hello. Ah, ek baar do do baar enter dubar ke dekho sir. Do baar enter. Yes, sir. इन्फॉर्मेशन थ्रू दिन Besides, and we can see the Ignis server also. So you can try to manipulate many things from the host command. For example, like if I do Google dot com, let's try with the Google. So through the Google, we can see the name server also. But I, I'm not going to use the name servers. So I'm going to change this one, and we're going to use the header to simply enumerate. and over here we can see the 200 response code but over here we can see the server they are using is google web server and through the cache files we can see each and everything so the main objective of your netcat to identify the number of services on the server side and we can look for many more things most of the cases they they basically use some other things For X powered by ASP dot net, they use any different different types of languages for their maintaining, and you can use various things. For example, we can use some different techniques with the help of a tool called Wattpad. Let's do man, which is called manual. So Wattpad is one of the Tool which is used for identifying the web sites and uh, web technologies, you can see. It's just like your webalizer or your netcat. So if you do what web iPhone V, which is a verbose, and either we can do the DNS name, either we can put some name servers. So I'm going to put the IP. Uh, we're going to use the DNS. So, what web will also use the same thing, which will identify the number of applications or the technology they are using for maintaining their website, and it's also using a 200 response code from the server side. The home of Acunetics Art, the IP address, the location is Germany. You can see the Ignis server, Adobe Flash Player powered by PHP. And you can check all these things one by one. Add up flash email addresses, HTTP server for hosting the web application. Ignis objective. We can see PHP language, uh, PHP version they are using. We can use the banner grabbing part to simply enumerate the services in the back end of the server, and we can use it for exploiting part. Exploit particularly when we say use कर सकते हैं what web को there are many things we can use it after all you will see the same thing over here the response code from the server side यहाँ पे बहुत सारे tools हैं जो कि same काम करते हैं आपके all you have to do is to use the same one और अगर आप यहाँ पे अलग अलग websites में जाओगे जैसे कि for example uh, let's go to easy council website
you can see the through you when you click to the uh when you click to the weaponizer you see there are lots of things that we are using can you guys mute your mic guys i'm hearing some voices thank you so much so over here you can see through the weaponizer we can see that cms they are using is wordpress the database is mysql see the bigot they are using all target manager google Lecture, blogs they are using wordpress live chat they are using zendex chat javascript framework they are using gzap javascript libraries they are using lightbox modiner jquery migrate ui front end they are using awesome front end 5.10.1 google front end api miscellaneous they are using rev sliders and programming they are using php Look, these lots of services which is running on the back end of the server, we can gather the in information by the help of Webalizer. Uh, and there are many other ways that you can use for information gathering part. The most important part is to gather the information about the target. That is the main thing that we have to learn from the first side. So the objective of this Information gathering is to enumerate the services with the help of your animation tools or your skills that you have gained. For example, there are lots of other techniques to uh, enumerate the subdomains also. First, you have to gather the information of the websites, then look for the subdomains. And there are lots of other websites that, that, that you can use for information gathering part. For example, last time, how many guys use here? How many use here? search dns netcraft jaise ki yahan pe de rakha tha maine simple site contents uh so yahan pe hum kya lenge yahan pe main dot se copy kar raha hu theek hai dot ec kaun se i'm going to use a uh, asterisk mark wild card card why i'm using a wild, wild card because i need to find all the things which is related to dot ec council dot org whatever the domain name which has an ec council dot org it will show you all the things in the display the subdomain information or agar aap yahan pe dekho yahan pe aapko sari ki sari ec council dot org ki websites milengi jo ki aapki ec council dot org के और भी अलग अलग वेबसाइट है जैसे साइबर साइबर क्यू कोडेड सर्ट आई लैब्स स्टोर ब्लॉग्स सी एंड ऑल दे आर यूजिंग आर लाइन एक्स ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम दे आर यूजिंग आर लाइन एक्स ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम एंड दे आर यूजिंग क्लाउड फेयर cloudflare approach so what i simply did i simply use a asterisk a wildcard entry and you can use any of this website for example if i do my company name crow.in it has only one no other subdomains but if you use any of the website like scl.com you will see lots of domains which are from scl.com see these are the real domains of uh, the scl technologies by simply using a wild card entry and a dot with the domain name it will show you all the servers which has scl.com or crowdsecurity.com <coughs> the most important thing is to gather the information about the target there are many other approach that you can use for subdomain enumeration either way you can use a tool called google docs also security trials you can write google docs is it clear guys all of you 
Yes, sir. Dhruv sir, Bhirendra sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Krishna. Yes, sir. Okay, okay, okay. Sulab, Pratham. Yes, sir. Okay, cool. So uh, we already know about the Google hacking techniques. Google hacking techniques is one of the best approach that can be used for information gathering. Part. We can use it in many ways. You can see a Google Doc, also known as Google Docking or Google Hacking, is a valuable resource for security researchers for average person. Google is just a search engine just to find text, image, videos, and news. But you can use Google Docking with many other ways. For example, we know about the use of site command. Hmm? So if I do site crawl dot in, it's gonna show me the domains of crawl dot in, which is one thousand and one hundred fourteen. But over here, let's use site again and crawl dot in. But I'm gonna use a uh, before a crawl. I'm gonna use a dot over there. A dot is just a URL section. If you hit enter, you can also try to manipulate other things. But over here, these are the same things over here. There's no difference. But many times, dot contains some wildcard entries. For example, if I use an asterisk over here, let's try to use an asterisk. The same thing which can also be reflected. Whatever the files which you have dot in you can see over here the very first thing you can see the www dot dot com and you can see some other website but crow has only one domain if you use any other domain like uh, scl dot com you will see scl dot com See, you will see stl.com. You will see brandstore.stl.com. See, there are yeah, there will be many other domain, other URLs on the sites because the total number of search are twenty four thousand. These are other websites of other things. The main objective of this one is to gather the information. So, in this thing, site which I use a site controller over here. If you see over here on the security trials, uh, I simply use the site operator. It will show you the full uh, the full list of indexed URL for specific domains. Subdomain, for example, if you want to use subdomain, you can see site securitytrials dot com. But over here, I'm going to use in URL also. In URL, so in URL, this is exactly the same as all in URL, but it's only useful for single keyword. For example, in URL admin. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use iPhone minus in URL, and I'm going to use www. Let's try this one. And if you see, when I remove this one, I can see the total number of results are 24,700. But when I use iPhone minus in URL, www dot is your dot com. You can see the number of results which are active now is 5790. And you can see the broad names. You see engage.html, interfacehtml.com. Or either you can try the minus site. You can see over here, the, the minus over here, the minus operator is used for avoiding showing result that 
contain certain words. For example, security trials will show you pages or you, uh, that uses security in their text, but not those that have the word trials. So you can use the complete word that you want to find. It will check only the first word. So that's why I use the minus words to simply show the content, the words which I want to look only. So if you, if I'm using a minus site over here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go do uh, www.html.com. Okay, sorry, SCL. Okay, now if uh, someone has captured that I'm using Google Docs. Now the website will be all SCLs. But still there is the same thing which I, we have found with the help of site.com. The major objective of this one to find the website which contains the www dot also. Either you can use the site controller, either you can use some other things. So for example, you can try to manipulate other things also. Google Docs is basically one of the tool called it's used for information gathering part and you can get the information about any of the subdomains. For example, if you go down, you will see log files. The log files are the perfect example of how sensitive information can be found within any website. Error logs, access logs, and other types of application logs are discovered inside the a public HTTP space and website. For example, you can see over here, all in text, all in text title, whatever the things you're going to write over here, it will fetch the files and the file type. It could be anything. It's, it, it's over here talking about the extensions. So if you copy this one and if you try to use it over here, you will see some files which has some logs over there. And if you click over here, you will see some logs of facebook.com, which has installed on the web browser. But these are some password, but are these not, are not the correct ones. You can see many more. Let's open this one. And these are some logs from the server side. Show logs, MariaDB, Jira. The logs which is always you are seeing over here is some access logs. This will show you a lot of results that includes username inside all the log files. It could be anything. It could be a username. It could be a password. It could be a salt format. It could be anything that we are looking for. And there are many more techniques that we can use for information gathering. Either you can use the search DNS. Either you can use the Webalizer or we have WordWeb plus we have Netcat also. But the most important thing, the animation part is not a small thing. It's a big thing. And you have to look one by one all these things in a sequence way. For example, there are many websites or many tools that you can use for information gathering. For example, there are, there are some tools called DNS Recon. Again, this is a tool of your domain name system from the GitHub. And you can see over here, DNS icon is a Python code or a Ruby script that will write and learn languages about the DNS. And you can use it for information getting part. So this, this one you have to set up. So I'm going to use a tool called Subroot. Subroot is also a tool called, which is a tool from your GitHub, which is used for DNS and motion part. And this is the Python file. So let's see if we can use to enumerate and simply find some relevant data from this or not. So I guess I have to download this one. And you can see Subroot is a community driven project that goes to creating the fastest and the most accurate subdomain animation tools. So if you see over here, 
we have extract and I'm going to paste this over here. So we have subroot.python. So let's use Python 3 for subroot. And we have some error over here. You must provide a target. Okay, so I must provide a target, but you should give me a proper list. Okay, so we have uses, iPhone P. So before that, I'm gonna use iPhone iPhone help. So we can do iPhone P is a print the data from the DNS record. Okay, so if I use iPhone P and uh, the target domain, so uh, we're going to take a normal domain, so I'm going to take the testing website. Or we can take a real website. Let's try Instagram. Okay, let's try the domain name over here. Let's put the domain name. And let's see if we can find some subdomains of Instagram.com. So through the sub subroute, we're gonna enumerate the subdomains of Instagram.com. And over here, I use the iPhone P, so print the data from found DNS records. So it will take some time because it's depend on the server side. It will take some time, guys, because it's basically scanned the, so the DNS over here. And uh, either we can wait for this one or either we can move to the next level. You can use subdomain in any of the website because I'm scanning a real website. So it will take some time over here. There are many more ways that you can use the recon type. The DNS recon, the subroot force, there are many ways you can see over here it's gonna see it's gonna scan all the records on the server side see and i guess we already have DNS recon in our system, and I guess yes, we have already have DNS recon. So after that, we can use this one, and we can see the. I guess this is the part of your. This is a simply, uh, a tool of from your website called Facebook.com. Yes, and it will check all the things one by one, on the server side. It will. Identified all the subdomains of the Instagram.com. Or you can do the DNS account also. So if you use DNS recon, iPhone iPhone and help, DNS account is also used for DNS animation part. So over here you can see lots of other functions. So I'm gonna use the iPhone D command, which is your domain. And we can use perform Google animation with standard animations. So if I do DNS recon iPhone D with the let's try the Microsoft now and iPhone G the advanced Google. So you can see the same thing. 
the DNS animation part and the records of the standards. There are many ways if you you can try the manual approach or you can try the automation approach. It will show you the same thing. And you can see the domains. You can use any of the commands over here or you can try many other things there are lots of techniques to uh, information gathering part see the dns record is basically used to enumerate the dns services which is srv txc iphone a and the subgroup is basically used to enumerate the subdomains of the target website There are many tools for information gathering. For example, you can use FAIRS. FAIRS is also one of the tools. So I have to check, do we have install on that? Yes, we have installed in our server. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use FAIRS and I'm gonna use it for iPhone, iPhone DNS to search for the DNS services. So I'm gonna use it for Microsoft. I'm gonna use the first to enumerate the DNSs of the Microsoft.com. So you can see the request, the name servers which we're talking about. And they are, it's gonna show you all the results now performing 2080 tests. This technique is basically used to enumerate the DNS services on from the server side. See. It's gonna show you all the websites of the domain names that you can use it for information gathering for later purpose. There are many more other ways that you can use for information gathering, but the most important part is to make a proper chart. So you can see it's gonna check all one by one all the domains which is related to your Microsoft.com and it will take some time. 
so our main objective was to get information getting about the target and there are many other ways that you can use for information gathering parthan sir yes parthan sir main keh raha tha sir ye sab domain ke bhi ip address change hote hain sab domain ke depend karte hain ki wo static hai ya dynamic hai acha theek hai क्योंकि अगर मैं इंफॉर्मेशन गैदरिंग की बात करूं, देर आर लॉट्स ऑफ अदर टूल्स दैट यू कैन यूज इट फॉर इंफॉर्मेशन गैदरिंग फॉर सब डोमेन इन्फॉर्मेशन फॉर वेब एप्लीकेशन इंफॉर्मेशन गैदरिंग फॉर वेब एप फिंगर प्रिंटिंग फॉर क्रॉलिंग एंड स्पाइडर फॉर द बस्टर देर आर लॉट्स ऑफ अदर टूल्स बट द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज टू अंडरस्टैंड द कोर मैकेजम ऑफ द वेब एप्लीकेशन that's the important part which i was talking about in the very first class so in this scenario you can see it will take some time to enumerate the service because there are 2008 tests and it's still doing it finds some developer instagram.txt Which is includes email, Insta, business Instagram dot com name, which is a part of a Facebook. See name, a related domain with the server. You will find this lots of other things. There are online websites also you can use it, and there are some tools that you can use it for information gathering. there are many other parts that you can use for example there is a website called dns dumpster also dns dumpster record this is also a website for dns animation <coughs> microsoft.com you can check all the name servers of dns the txt record the mail record the spf the facebook verification see address records or you can download the part you will get a lot of things a proper microsoft diagram A will show you the records of that website. And there is a website called there is one more word, website which is called Built With. Built With website is also for technology lookup. Let's try with the Microsoft, I guess. You will have the, all the information about the technology they are using. Technology profile, Adobe, Facebook domain verification, Alton Clouds, Agari, SPF record, Demax, see Azure, Akamai hosted. 
this is a part of your information gathering then detailed technology of profiles metadata profile the relationship profiles the relationship with the other websites is talking about Read eye profiles. Uh, we don't have that much time. So in build with, we can see the technology same as there are lots of other techniques for that. But the major part is your information gathering, and there are many more techniques that you can use for information gathering as well as there are lots of other things. So our main objective will be information gathering about the domain name. So over here, this was the part, but there are lots of other website that, that you can use for information gathering, or you can try other techniques. For example, you can try Shodan also. Shodan is a website where you can get the information about live host. So over here, you can use Shodan operators. If you look, uh, if you search for the Shodan operators in Google, you will see lots of things. Search operators. You will find lots of things from Chodans. Like, uh, see, like data, the main response from the service itself, IP string, IP address from the device, Port for number of scan, org, organization, location, country code. You can use all these things one by one. Over here, in Shodan operator, you can use, I, I'm going to use Apache server. Uh, on the country tag, let's use IP. Will it work? It shows in error. Let's try quotes twenty one. Windows seven. Let's try this one, and we can see some upgrades over here. These are the live hosts. Hello, Parth sir. Hmm. So just I'm Windows 7 is my press piano to it comes a result with the current jump in Windows 7 a be currently children. Yes. Or sir, you may have to look at us as for them to I think internet connected device key whatever information that I'm not a man. Exactly. The internet was connected with the right now. Okay. So the Macaro is the many device with the internet to connect her. So, which key information do you have here? Yes, all you have to do, you have to be a professional member. Okay. But I don't have the uh, credentials, username and password, so that's why it's showing me like this. So, connected as a room, you can see it. Yes, you can see it. 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 But all you have to do is to simply search for that. There are many ways that you can use for information gathering. 
all you have to do is for search for the relevant data agar main website ki baat karu bahut sari websites milenge aapko search karne ke liye this is domain information domain information nikalne ke liye aapke bahut sare websites hain aapka shodan ho gaya aapke alag alag websites ho gaye for example agar main baat karu यहाँ पे एक वेबसाइट है फॉर एग्जांपल सर्ट डॉट एस एच ओके सॉरी दिस वॉज एस आर टी डॉट एस एच and i guess we already know about the tool called the harvester you can see they can use lots of other website sort senses bing api there are lots of other tools that you can use for information gathering and that was sort dot as file the major objective of this entire course or the entire syllabus was to information gathering part how we can how can we get the information so uh, is it working or not let's see srtss.com is basically used to enumerate the subdomains of the target website this is also techniques of information gathering part and there are many more all you have to do is to understand how does it works uh, and i get the status is not working or either you can use last time we use the dig command we, for, we forget to use the dig command see when i simply and uh, right dig we can see all the functions over here through the dig command we can enumerate the services which is running in the back end of the server and you can you can use any of the dig command to enumerate the c name or the user names or any of the things you want either it could be either it could be a website other it could be anything for example if i use dig command if any of the website like microsoft you can see all the name servers all the things which is over here from microsoft the azure's the other uh, and authority section addition sections the name servers the records you can see the records the name servers so dig so, command can be used to verify lots of other things in the server side the main objective of this session was to gather the information and there are lots of other techniques that you can crawl the website or identify the security libraries so this was all the module over here and there are many more techniques for reconnaissance if you search you will find 